Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's um, Marvin speaking. Uh, we're going to get straight into a video about Liam Payne and the autopsy. There's a newly released autopsy report <clears throat> for former One Direction member Liam Payne, and it reveals a lot, but it also still leaves us with a lot of questions. And I'm going to give a warning now that some of this may be hard to hear, especially if you're a major fan of Liam or a One Direction fan in general. So keep that in mind. The report shows he may have been completely unconscious when he fatally fell from his hotel room balcony. And also that two women had been in his room in the hours leading up to his death. Now, the National Criminal and Correctional Prosecutor's Office reports that his injuries indicated that he didn't try to protect himself when falling. There were no reflexes meaning he fell when he was either semi or totally unconscious. They say that all indications were that he was alone when he fell, but that three hotel workers and two women have been questioned on the incident as they were all in his room hours prior to what happened. The report also says, quote, the investigation is aimed at determining the possible intervention of third parties in the events prior to the death of the victim. So, AKA, they're still investigating if someone had anything to do with what happened. So. We don't really know yet the storyline behind it, but either way, it's a sad, sad story. His former bandmates, Harry, Niall, Louie, and Zayn, have all also issued either joint or solo statements on their social media pages, mostly thanking Liam for being a major role model in their lives and for the impact he made on the band. So once again, if I find out more details, I'll definitely keep you updated. Thank you for that. That was um, Radio Brooklyn. Um, I mean, it did sound a little bit suspicious, but like I said, the obviously rugs taken, um, he was actually taken, makes you wonder whether, like I said, he did pass out and fall. Um, he didn't seem, the last hours, he didn't seem in control of himself. And that could easily be done if he walks out to the balcony, collapses and you loses his balance, um, especially on this uh, pink cocaine, um, who's it's said to be absolutely deadly. Uh, let me just go into an article I find. And this was f um, from the New York Times. What is pink cocaine? The drug cocktail can contain ketamine, which is an awful, awful drug, which can destroy the body, ecstasy and meth but rarely cocaine itself. And so it, it seems like to me that it's actually just made um, with uh, cheaper cocktails of drugs, which is absolutely, absolutely uh, deadly. Um, the Times goes on to say New York Times um, is considered uh, pink cocaine to be one of the most dangerous club drugs because dealers and users really know what's in any given batch wow it's disgusting a powder called pink cocaine made up of revolving groups of drugs has become a dangerous increasingly popular part of the club scene in the u.s um all over the world now to be honest with you cities according to the drug enforcement administration uh who study recreational recreational drug use most samples of the concoction contain at least one stimulant drug and one depressant expert said often pink cocaine includes ketamine a dissociative anesthetic uh with wow hallucinogenic effects and other drugs like ecstasy um, menfetamine uh, opicides and wow psychoactive substances such as bath salts. It's um, it's very cheap and attracts people to use it. This is just unbelievable. It really is. The term uh, pink cocaine itself is a uh, misnomer as the cocktail really contains cocaine, said Joseph uh, Palama, an associate professor at New York University uh, Longhorn Health, who researches uh, party drugs rather than the name likely comes from the fact that the pink cocaine is sold in powder form and dyed pink with food coloring that's all it is um it just seems like to me it's a party drug um which is a cheaper version 
than um, cocaine, to be honest with you. And it's said to be um, picked up very, very cheap um, as well. But it has some major, major, when taking it, problems when you actually take it. And I think it's so strong, ketamine in it as well, ecstasy and other drugs could be in it as well. It wouldn't surprise me sometimes if you get like things like horse tranquilizer um, in it as well. Um, it sounds horrific and does some really strange things to the body as well. We're just going to go into ABC 11 and um, just to let us know what they say more on the drug. A former DEA agent is sounding the alarm about a designer drug making headlines in recent days called pink cocaine. It's been in the United States for a little while now. Not, it hasn't been as popular as it's becoming now. An autopsy has revealed former One Direction singer Liam Payne had multiple drugs in his system, including pink cocaine, when he plunged off a hotel balcony in Argentina last week, dying at the age of 31. The drug has also been linked to rapper Sean Diddy Combs in a lawsuit filed by his former music producer who claims it was required that all of Diddy's employees, from the butler to the housekeepers, walk around with a pouch filled with drugs, including Tusi, another name for pink cocaine. Despite its name, there's often no cocaine in the mix of drugs, which acts as both a stimulant and depressant. The first piece that we almost always see in pink or pink cocaine is ketamine, a dissociative drug, something that makes people feel like they're detached from reality. Wow. It makes you think. Obviously, there's, in the Diddy case, there's a lot going on, but I will talk about that at a later date. Um, but obviously, this drug can affect people in different ways. And when you don't know what's in it, it's even more dangerous. The second component is a psychedelic. Public health officials are warning parents the designer drug, with its bright color, is growing in popularity among teens and young adults. No matter where you live and however isolated you think you are from street drugs, now with social media, with the smartphone, everyone lives in an open air drug market. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. Absolutely deadly, absolutely deadly. So like I said, the warnings are out there on um, serious drug taking. And we saw what it done to Liam Payne. Sometimes I think um, people actually take drugs to forget about things. And I think he'd done that. I'm not saying he was a massive drug taker, but sometimes people are depressed and need sometimes a stimulant or something that's gonna give them a bit of a high to forget about things. Uh, but like I said, it cost him his life, which is so, so sad. So, I, you know, sometimes we have to put um, videos like out there to save um, our uh, young people and artists and famous people. Because I think sometimes these artists, as we've seen, are under serious, serious pressure. And sometimes they want a way out um, and can talk about um, their problems. And it's sad, it is very, very, very sad. Uh, but it's something that we need to sometimes look into and understand it, should I say. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment. We have a lot more videos coming out uh, later, and thank you.